Hello everyone, my brothers and sisters in Christ, the ones that wants to serve him, people that's chosen. I want to say this, this is a message, a brief message. If a Satanist come to you or a demon comes your way and tell you not to preach, you do it more so, you cast them out, rebuke them, okay? Because you do not want the demon to overpower okay you want to have the victory right so you shall cast out devils okay um they out here trying to pass bills of prayers not in schools bibles not in schools and christians should be assembly and all that banning christians off the internet stuff like that nature these satanists Hate and despise against Christians, chosen people of God. Listen, Satanists, the more you do that, the more I will tell these chosen people of God to preach. Yes. The Lord Jesus Christ had put it into me. This is the time for the chosen people of God to preach even more so. Okay. You must preach with all your might. In the faith in God, having the Holy Ghost Spirit, and be able to withstand the enemy, okay? Having the whole armor of God. Because these demons are in these people. They are running amok in these people as we speak, these Satanists that's in the government. And they don't want you to speak of Jesus' name, of course not, okay? They are against him. They worship Lucifer, okay? So... My message to you, chosen people of God, the ones that want to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, the ones that want to stay by his side, okay? Preach more so, okay? Cast out devils, rebuke them, even when they say they don't want it. Cast them out, okay? Because that's what they need to be casted out. Demons need to be casted out and rebuked it because they are wicked, okay? This is why there's a lot of wickedness in this world today because people are giving heed to demons and they are praising them, okay? They're idolizing demons and saying they are good while they call Christians bad, okay? Warn to those that call good evil and evil good. These are the people that despise against Christians, chosen people of God, and they hate people like us because they don't want, uh, they don't want us to speak righteousness. They want to be wicked. Okay, so them trying to pass bills like this to stop people from preaching and all this. People, this is a time to preach it more so. Okay, this is a time to preach righteousness even more so. And Satan has his army now, and they might be many. But with, through the Holy Spirit of God and his army, they can be defeated. Okay, so you must... Have the strong faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You must withstand the enemy. Because if they come in your face, do not back down and stop preaching. You preach. Okay? You let them know that Satan is a fallen angel that is wicked against God. And that he will not prevail. Okay? So... This is my message to you guys. My mama just got through telling me that they're trying to pass bills of Christians and not assembling anymore. They're trying to pass bills as much as possible to stop the chosen people of God preaching. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> they don't like us preaching the true gospel of Christ. Of course not. Okay. This is the reason why they're even doing it in Asia where they're trying to drill people about that. They are trying their best to stop the gospel being preached because Satan knows if the gospel is preached throughout the whole nations that is when God is going to do his thing you guys okay okay certain people have not heard the full gospel just yet but if the full gospel is being reached okay and all the nations hear this gospel then that's when God is going to do his thing so Satan is trying to stop that as much as possible because they want to stay wicked and doing their thing as wicked on this earth as, as far as they, as much as they can, okay? 
But they're not going to stay doing wicked. Okay? They are going to suffer in hell. Listen to what Satan is. You are going to suffer in hell being wicked as you are. Going against God and doing things abominable against his holy name. As many bills y'all might pass. Okay? Listen well. As many bills and laws y'all might pass. That is not going to stop the Holy Ghost Spirit from moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is not going to stop anything. Okay? That is going to make the chosen people of God to even preach more. Okay? And I'm letting you see this. The more you pass these bills, the more we shall preach. Chosen people of God, listen well. Preach. God commanded us to preach. Okay? Preach. Cast out devils. Preach. God tell us to preach and cast out these demons. They don't want to be rebuked. Do it. Do it. Okay? They shall be casted out. This is the this is the message. Satan has his army. But the Holy Ghost power is more stronger than it. That we can cast these demons out. Okay. So. I just want to tell you that you guys. Because as many bills they might pass. To go against us chosen. That don't mean a thing. You continue to preach. And voice the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy holy word. Okay. So. Seek this here people. The Holy Bible. That they don't want you to seek. <laughs> continue to seek it. Okay. As many chosen we can all come together and rebuke these demons okay and that's what god wants us to do he commanded us to preach to reach to the lost and get a lot of people that wants to be saved to seek god so you can withstand the enemy okay the holy spirit is the only spirit of god that's supposed to be within you to to cast out demons to um, have the power to cast them out and rebuke them so they won't um, get in you. There is also a protector so the uh, demons won't get in you. And they also, um, and the Holy Spirit also make these demons flee. So the Holy Spirit is a protector, a guider, and a comforter. Okay. So if you don't have this Holy Spirit, I advise you to turn away from your wicked ways and get it. Okay. Ask the Lord to receive it. You have to turn from your wicked, wicked ways fully though. Okay. To order to see this baptism of fire. In order to receive this type of spirit. Because if you don't. You will be had by the, by the enemy. Okay. The enemy cannot withstand the power of the Holy Ghost. It cannot. Um, and only a few people have this power. A lot of people don't have it. Because they might claim they have it. But they, a lot of them don't have it. Because that's why they're still doing the things in this world today. Um, but to have this power, you have to fully change from your wicked ways. You cannot be still cursing, still be sinning, still fornicating, still committing adultery, still doing things that ain't of God. You have to really turn from them in order to be baptized with this type of fire. Okay. So this is the type of spirit. This is the type of spirit. The Holy Spirit is able to withstand the enemy. If it comes your way, you will have the fire of God. Okay. To order to withstand this type of, um, to order to withstand the enemy, okay? So, people, I advise you to seek the living word and preach more. Preach more. Preach the living word more. Don't lean towards your own understanding. Lean towards God's understanding, okay? We have to lean towards his word understanding only, not our own. It's the only way to defeat demons, Okay? Seek this word here. Jesus Christ is God.